Early the next morning, Kyle opened his eyes. Two brown eyes stared back at him. Treasure, he cried. You're better. Treasure licked Kyle's nose. Her tongue felt warm and sticky. Outside, sun sparkled on a rippled sea. Let's walk along the beach, Kyle said after breakfast. Kyle took his walking stick from the wheelbarrow. Treasure sat and barked at it. He gave the stick to Treasure, and she ran away. She bounded into the water. Kyle ran to the water's edge. By then, Treasure was a long way from shore. Treasure, he called. Come back. A lone white boat sailed far out on the rippled sea. Treasure's nose pointed towards it, but the boat sailed farther and farther away. Kyle ran into the water. It was cold on his legs. Treasure, he called. At last, Treasure turned around and swam back. She still had the stick in her mouth. After that, Kyle hurried home from school every day. He always took Treasure for a walk along the beach. She always carried the same stick. She always went swimming, but she never swam so far from shore again. Sometimes, Kyle went out with his dad, but it wasn't the same. When Kyle came home, he always felt sad. He always took treasures for a walk on the beach. She helped him feel less lonely. Spring came and the days grew longer. One warm, sunny afternoon, Kyle took treasure out for a walk. For once, she didn't run into the water. Instead, she streaked along the beach. She still carried her stick in her mouth. Treasure, come back, Kyle called, but the dog paid no attention. She ran along the sandbar and Kyle ran after her. He saw Treasure leaping around a tall man. The man carried a pipe in his mouth. He had a big gray beard. Treasure dropped her stick. She leaped up and down and quivered with excitement. The man took his pipe from his mouth. He crouched down and put his arms around the dog. Treasure licked his face. By gum, it's you, Otter. I can't believe it. You Otter be drowned. The man looked at Kyle. There were tears in his eyes. Thank you for finding my dog, he said.